Let's discuss the six systems for racing old birds, starting with the worst and we'll end what I feel is the very best. Let's see if you're making this game difficult for yourself or you can make it a lot, much, much easier. First system would be the natural system. That's when you take the pigeons, they live in one loft, they're rearing babies, cocks and hens are together. You race them, hopefully, in certain nesting conditions. Now, with that system, the pros, you can raise babies during the racing season. The cons, the cocks, so the male birds are never in great condition to race. Uh, the hens, their best condition would probably be sitting eggs maybe 10 to 12 days old, which limits you because that condition only comes, you know, a few times maybe during the racing season. Worst system of all, natural system. System that they used, um, you know, for a million years up until the last probably 30 years where everyone got away from it. I would stay away from the natural system. You're better off just racing one sex if you don't have separate sections where you can race different sexes. But again, natural system, worst system. Next system many have tried over the years would be called the roundabout system. This is more or less a system where you have a section of nest boxes, maybe the boys on one side, the girls on the other. They enter into the nest box section. You chase them back into their own sections. Um, you could have them mix in the section and separate them. Again, more of a roundabout type system. They all rotate around through a certain section or through a couple of different sections. This system, the roundabout system, does favor the hens. Um, not as great with the boys. Decent system, certainly better than the natural system, um, but not as good as some other systems. The pros, well, it's kind of a lot of work. I don't think there's many pros to the roundabout system. If you can do this system, you can definitely apply a better system. The cons, you lose on both the boys and the girls. You don't get the performance out of either sex racing the roundabout system. Now, again, you'll be much more competitive than the natural system but there's better systems to be. The next two systems would be straight widowhood cock system and widow hen system. More or less, the cocks live in a section. They are motivated, motivated by the hens. They race home to the hens and hen system can be applied the same way. The hens come home, their mates are waiting in the nest box. Good systems, better than the other two. There are better systems with less effort. You're not dealing with mates. You're not dealing with moving pigeons around. Motivation, not really necessary with racing pigeons. So if you fly straight widowhood where the cocks are coming home to the hens, or widow hens where the hens are coming home to the cocks, good systems, much better than the first two, much better than roundabout of the natural system. And you can do very well on these systems, but again, it's a lot of work. You have to be there to pull pull mates, separate pigeons after the race. The birds uh, form is a little up and down. The bringing hens or bringing cocks in can actually affect the form a little bit on the pigeons. I would suggest better system than this, but again, certainly better than the first two. Now we're getting to the top of uh, the two best systems. You can fly old birds. Now I would say racing celibate cocks. Now, Celibate cocks are raced in their section. They race to their perch. There's no motivation. So those of you who watch my videos realize that I don't motivate pigeons. It's a big waste of time. When you motivate pigeons, you're maybe helping one, you're hurting 20. You're better off not motivating pigeons. Now, the secret with racing the celibate cocks, this is just pigeons racing to a section. No mates. No mates ever. You don't show any hens with the celibate cocks. The secret with them is they need to come into form. So they tend to come into better form if they're out. So you lock them out for 90 minutes in the mornings, a few days a week, maybe one or two training tosses. They're locked out. They tend to go up and down. They're all over the sky. That brings on form. The rest of it's done with feeding. But you can bring on the form. You can race them to the perch, and it's simple. The birds come home from the race. Your work is done. They eat. They drink. They're in their section. You're not messing with hens. You're not pulling hens. You don't have to worry about 
it's so much less work. So one of the best systems would be celibate Cox, but it's still not the very best system of all. We'll get into that now. The best system of all for racing would be celibate hens. This is a system where the hens just race to the perch. There's no motivation, there's nothing. They race to the perch. They excel. And as you know, I've talked about it in many of my videos, the motivation thing, it's all for us. The fancier does it for himself. It doesn't help the pigeons. Celibate hens, they're racing to the perch, they're fed correctly, they need very little work, they stay in form, they can race week after week. If you want a simple system to beat your competitors without a lot of effort, you must race celibate hens. There's no downside. They used to say, oh, what if the hens made up? Well, if the hens made up, so what? They cuddle in the corner. If they lay a set of eggs, let them sit the eggs, keep shipping them to the races. I've had mated hens that have cuddled the whole season, be right at the top of national aces. It doesn't matter one bit. So if you can pick one system to race, you want to race one old bird system. You don't maybe have a lot of time. Race celibate hens. There's nothing like it. I've done a few videos on the celibate hens and videos on how I feed the celibate hens. But again, there's absolutely nothing like racing celibate hens. For years, I thought um, the widow cocks was stronger. I just had a like a boy bias that they were stronger than the hens, but they're not. The hens will outrace them long distance, short distance. It doesn't matter. Those hens will race. They're indestructible. So if you could only race one system, you want to keep it simple. You want to have big time results. Race celibate hands. This is Frank McLaughlin, McLaughlin Lofts. Hope you like and subscribe. Thank you.